Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I am Jason LaDuke, your host for the fourth Thursday of every month. I think I said Thursday of the other segments. We used to be on Friday, and so I got that wrong for many, many months. Um, however, our first, our third guest today, I'm already off, is going to be Christoph J. Wyman. We're going to talk about all the great things he does, but before I do that, I want to mention that our sponsor this month is 5AM Global. That's how you and I got to know each other. Through our, 5 a.m. Global! Through our good friend Sean Willis. And what I want to talk about in this segment about what 5AM Global does is really great is their event production. So if you want to have an event, you feel like you need to have an event, you're running an event, 5AM Global can do all that for you, and not just the nuts and bolts logistics of setting up chairs, finding you a venue space. They do it all right to, they will figure out, they will help you go get your sponsors for your event, and they'll go get your speakers. And I know you've been a speaker. At a 5 a.m. global event. At a Breathe 2019. Yes. Um, and Sean, if you're listening, I'd love to get on your list of speakers. So, <laughs> so, But if you're looking for speakers for your event as well, 5 a.m. global can help you with all that. You don't need to come with 90% of the work done. Sean and her team at 5 a.m. global are going to help you get it done. Christoph, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Now, just by way of introduction, Christoph J. Wyman is a service elevator. You've written two books. Two books. One of them is a bestseller, an Amazon bestseller in three Ooh. categories. And I don't want to steal your thunder, but our first guest, Suzanne, was an Amazon seller, but she's just in one category. A, a, a so, bestseller is a bestseller. That's right. So um, the customer experience is the new book. It's an Amazon bestseller. You found it Aspire. Enterprises, and you specialize in teaching, training, and empowering organizations to elevate the customer service that they deliver. Sure. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And where do you develop such a passion for customer service and becoming a service elevator? Great question. And I'm asked it often, but I always find it a very intriguing question. I, you know, I spent many years overseas after junior mm -hmm. college. Uh, working actually as a volunteer missionary for a non-denominational Christian organization mm -hmm. uh, in the Philippines. So I guess uh, I developed what I call a servant heart, right? And and even though it's not service and hospitality as in serving customers, mm -hmm. in a way it is still in that broad scope. And so I think that was some formulative years for me. Uh, I was overseas for 13 years in the Pacific yeah. and Asia learning uh, other cultures. I speak two Philippine languages, uh, or at least I used to fluently, Tagalog and Ilocano. And I thought I was going to spend my whole, the rest of my life in the Philippines, mm -hmm. serving the underprivileged people there. And uh, then life, they say life happens. So certain yep. things uh, transpired and I found myself coming back to the United States. Didn't know what I wanted to do when I grow up. Isn't that the story with everything? <laughs> Everyone I meet who is in this kind of line of work, had a moment of, I don't know what I want to do next, but I'm going to figure it out, right? Exactly, exactly. But uh, it seems that whatever job I found myself in, I always gravitated back to working in hotels and restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, some sales here and there, yep. and it's all intertwined, service and sales. Absolutely. Many companies have a sales department and a service department, and they think mm -hmm. the two are separate, but mm -hmm. I think they have to be intertwined, right? Absolutely, and you uh, you spent some time. I, I don't don't want to do any name dropping. You don't want to do, but you spent some time working with some very famous folks in in their restaurants and hospitality sure. enterprises. And so, tell us what you learned. Le learned and again, you don't have to mention any names. You don't want to. Well, mention. I have no problem saying I used to work for Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> so, what did, what did you learn working working in Wolfgang Puck's you, uh, organization? You know, standards of excellence, mm -hmm. and it's not just about the cuisine. I mean, you imagine how amazing the pieces of work of art that they put on the oh, plate, absolutely, yeah. right? But no matter what they do in the kitchen, uh, it's often not if we in the front of the house, the servers, the bartenders, mm -hmm. the hosts, the waitresses, the mm -hmm. bussers, don't deliver an amazing experience that's commensurate with what's been created in that kitchen, right? And so I really began to develop this passion for service excellence. And... Uh, you know, I spent my ye many, many years uh, on the service side. Mm -hmm. as I, I, a little bit of time as a bartender, but that's not my thing. I really enjoyed more serving, uh, working as a server, right? One, one of the or, things we're going to talk so about for your Wolfgang book. With Wolfgang Puck, they call you butler, so it even butler sounds nice. more I prestigious. I didn't know that. <laughs> one of the things we're going to talk about in the book is emotion 
and energy. Yes, emotion. and how important that is to you, and and that's so important to Kristoff that there are two chapters in the book <laughs> called emotion and energy. That's correct. And so, how did you come to come to that concept of emotion and energy? Well, again, I'm a, I'm always on a I guess I'm a continual learner, mm -hmm. right? I'm always reading, I'm always studying, I'm always examining, and you know, here's it, it boils down to this. We've all experienced, you know, whether it was maybe going to the hospital or going to a retail store or going to a restaurant or somewhere mm -hmm. where on the outside, the person, the service professional, whatever position that might be, they did everything right. Like you could check the box, mm -hmm. you know, like so in the hospital, I greeted the patient. I explained about the medication. Yep. I told mm -hmm. about, you know, what the uh, side effects will be. Da, da, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. What are they complaining about? Right. So one could do everything actually correct to the T, but still not give great service. And that's because they're missing what I call the internal components, mm -hmm. the mindset, the attitude, the positive energy. And we all understand, you know, I mean, there's so many books out there about, you know, vibration and, mm -hmm. and energy and, uh, you know, resonating. You know, mm -hmm. we say, does this resonate with you? Absolutely. And that's, that's literally what that means is what if what I'm saying to you makes sense, it's resonating. Mm -hmm. We're on the same wavelength, all these different phrases or, mm -hmm. or terms. And it's because we are as well as being mind and body we are spirit and we are emotion and we are energy it's one, and one we package. can connect on that level and you know i always say you have to ask yourself wtf yes it's in the book wt i know hold on it's, don't, don't. it's not what you, I, yeah. I say this in my trainings and i i say listen hold on it's not what you think no, it's not that, and it's not Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's not whiskey tango. There's a whole list of things. In the, there's a whole list of things <laughs> in the not. book that it's not, and you're gonna have to buy the book if you want to know what that list is. No, I'll give it. <laughs> I'll give it. You're gonna give it. All right. All right. It's what's the feeling? Yes, absolutely. When somebody walks into your place of business, or you speak to them on the phone, or you connect in any way, what's the feeling that they have when they engage you? Absolutely. You engage them. More importantly, what's the feeling? after that interaction. Absolutely. Hopefully it's elevated. Hopefully no. we've done something to make them feel different, better, and not that they're walking out like, oh, this was a drag. Oh, that was disappointing. Absolutely. And it all comes down to emotion and energy, yeah. which we can control. And one of the things I loved in, in reading the book, and I haven't read it all, I've read little bits and pieces and and that's gonna be my weekend uh, my weekend activity is awesome. to, is to sit by the pool since it's gonna be so warm here and and read this book cover to cover but one of the things I loved is you you set this up in a really practical way for the reader of first think about what you call the touch points mm -hmm. and it's funny because when I work with my leadership clients I tell them the same thing absolutely think about the touch points think about every opportunity you have to interact with someone once you have that figured out, now you have these spots where you can recognize I'm at a touch point. And that's when you can start conditioning yourself because it really is just developing the habit of sure. asking yourself before you before you engage at that moment, what's the feeling, right? What's the feeling? And and there's a chapter in the book called Envisionment. So we as leaders, business owners, whatever uh, industry we are in, we need to uh, consider that we should envision what is the end result that we desire? Absolutely. Not just like, I'm here to sell this great product. Right. Okay, that's great. You have a great product. But what is it that you want the, the, the audience, the customer, the client to feel, to experience as a result For of sure. that? And it only comes by being intentional. For right? sure. It doesn't yeah. come by accident. Like, oh, we have this amazing no. product or amazing business, but we've got to put time and effort and energy into designing that. And I think that's really worth emphasizing is it doesn't happen by accident. It might happen by accident once or twice. Right, but, of course. But if you want consistent results with your customers or your family or your friends or your your strategic partners, your associates, it doesn't happen by accident. It needs to be conscious. And there's great advice in this book, in this book, the customer experience, <laughs> um, that, that shows you how to do that in a really pra it doesn't just say you have to do it it's, it's got really right. practical advice and that's what I love about it so what are you passionate about besides customer service my passion I love the sun sunny weather in Las Vegas <laughs> uh, I, uh, what am I passionate about I like to uh, 
drink wine and smoke cigars. And, and you love to travel, isn't and it? And I love to yeah. travel with so. my wife and oftentimes with our four puppy babies. Yeah. They're not puppies, but they're so small we call them puppies. Mm -hmm. uh, I love life. I, I love, you know, I love speaking and, and making an impact and, mm -hmm. and bringing positivity to people's lives, you know? So Absolutely. Uh, it's not just customer experience. Are we out? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I also speak and, and talk about personal development and, and why yeah. that's so important. And again, you know, it's not just about steps of do this, do that, don't mm -hmm. do this, don't do that. But it really starts with, you know, internal components. Totally. And I've, I'm a lifelong learner. I'm a student of personal development. I've had the privilege of speaking on stage with people like Les Brown. Mm -hmm. um, a great speaker. You know, life is amazing. And it's... Yeah. and and we can create and attract and manifest what we want it, to, what we desire it to be. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got two books. The first one is Getting to Wow. Hold that up for the audience. Getting to Wow. Getting Everybody to wow. wins with five-star service. Yeah. Believe so that? Yes. Yep. So that's the first book. But the new book is The Customer Experience. You can get it on Amazon. It's an Amazon bestseller. I highly recommend it, and I'm not even done with it yet. <laughs> so go to Amazon, buy The Customer Experience by Christoph J. Wyman, um, and go go learn what Christoph's talking about here. And Christoph, how can our audience reach you if they're interested in someone to come to speak for them, or if they just want to just ask you a question? Uh, very simply. My name is spelled C-H-R-I-S-T-O-F-F. -F. It's Christoph360, 360.com. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can find all my contact information, all my social media mm -hmm. platforms there, even my phone number, mm -hmm. my email. But you can also, if you'd like to get a signed copy of either book at a lower price than Amazon, you can go on Amazon. That's I appreciate that. But if you go to Christoph360.com, you can find my books there as well. Well, there you go. So go by the book. It's the customer experience. Go visit Christoph J. Wyman 360.com. Christoph 360. Christoph360.com. I'm going to put that in the show notes so that I don't have to remember, so that you don't have to remember. <laughs> Thank you for being here today, Christoph. Stay right Thank here, you. and you stay right there, because we're going to come back with our panel discussion, and our three guests today are going to talk about what they know about emotional intelligence and how they use it in business. Stay right here.